if everything could only start at the beginning again, then I could stop what I've already done. It's terrible to be hated the way people hate me. My life seems like that nightmare which always haunted me. Sabra! Are you all right? That scream you let out sounded like you were being murdered. It's all right. It's all over now. It's all over. Here. Every time I take a nap, that same dream. But he's trying to hurt you. Stop that! Keep your hands off me. Don't you have something to do? A anything? I only wanted to make you feel better. Why? What do you want? Don't tell me you care about me and you don't want anything. I haven't seen it yet. Look at you. Look at yourself. Look at your hair. What's the matter with it? It's dirty. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Well, I'll admit I'm not as pretty as you are, but I do try to take care of myself. That is not the point. I just wish you'd do something more and stop crawling all over me. Here, pledge. You want to do something? Wash these. And don't come back till your hair is clean. Ellie irritated me. She was stupid. She did anything I told her to. I despised her for it. Hi. Oh, hello. I thought you were going into town this afternoon. about the most secretive person I've ever known. What do you mean? That uh, little case of yours. You never leave it open for more than 10 seconds. Always locking it up tight like an old miser with a safe. Does that bother you? Yes, it does. <laughs> well, what's so important that you have to hide so carefully? Makes me feel as if I'm rooming with an enemy agent. Just some personal things, that's all. It's really none of your business. Okay. Rita! Oh, Andy's going to give me another tennis lesson. Do you want to join us? I'd love to, Terry, but I can't. Mort wants to discuss my campaign. Politics. Okay, then, but next week for sure. After you're elected. If you mean. But you know, the student body can't do without you. It was always the same. 
everyone else kept together, leaving me alone. Even though I had a shiny new car to drive, I would have traded places with any one of them. Well, goodbye, girls. Bye. Have a nice time. Hi, Rita. Can I give you a lift into town? No, thanks. I feel like walking. Okay. Suit yourself. Anyway, well, I'm not going to door and this big blonde comes in. Rita! Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Unaccustomed though I am to beer hall introductions, sentimental testimonials, commercial sponsoring of local beauties, indiscriminate support of women's equalities and what have you, I should like to take this opportunity to present to you distinguished members of yonder Institute of Higher Eradication. Hey, hey, hey. Not yet. Um, the next president of your student body, the new dispenser of political spoils, Miss Rita Joyce. Hooray! <laughs> Voters. <laughs> Hi, Tina. I missed you at the meeting this morning. I'm sorry, but I had to study for an exam. What happened with the blonde in the door? Finish the story. Hey, the lady, you guys got a VIP here. Got to treat her right. What's wrong with Tina? Oh, miseries. Comes from being a pledge. Stop. You know, Kai Sigma pledges are treated right. Yeah. You got the speech? Right here. Let me take that outside and read it. You don't look like you're feeling very well, Tina. I'm not. What's wrong? I've got a headache. Oh, gee, that's a shame. You take an aspirin? Yes. If you'd like, I'll take over for you the rest of the afternoon. No, thanks, anyhow. Rita? I hope you feel better. <laughs> Rita? What is it, Tina? Never mind. <laughs> Did you think? It's too serious. Too serious? Much. You know what college kids are interested in? <laughs> As a group? Two things. Beer and laughs. Why do you think this place is such a success? It certainly ain't my paintings. People are interested in a lot of things. Books, events, ideas. See what I mean? Beer and laughs. That stuff you've gotten there about it, eliminating discrimination at the university level, democratizing the fraternity system. Well, that's all very fine, but who cares? I care. You do, don't you? Rita, the secret of life is not to become involved. Beer and laughs. Well, maybe the brunch wagon sandwich too now and then. You know, they are very good. They are a specialty of the house. They leave a lump right here all night. I thought you were going to help me. I will. But the speech is your baby. Now, if you want to keep it serious, okay. I'll merely verse you in the practical politics of stuffing the ballot box. Remind me to tell you sometime how I won the election. That was in my youth, of course. Good old days at Scott University. Gentlemen, a toast. Beer and laughs. <laughs> Beer and laughs. This cost $85. Now, if I could handle the needle like Terry, well, the only difference is the styling. Yours is much more sophisticated. Well, that's, that's only a matter of taste. All right, girls. Dinner. Oh, Sabra. Your mother's here to visit you. She is. Yes, and she wants to have dinner with you. I promised I'd have you phone her as soon as you returned. She's at the hotel. Thank you, Mrs. Fessenden. Sabra, how does it look on me? Oh, it looks fine. But you? How could Ellie ever look good in a dress like that? Someone had to tell her the truth. Oh, 
time we uh, drop the charade. What do you mean? You didn't come down here to see me. Well, certainly I did. Sabra, what do I have to do to convince you that I care about you? A lot more than you have. I, I know I haven't been perfect, but I am your mother. I know how to spell it, but uh, what does it mean? It means that there's a very close bond between us. Since your father died, I felt the responsibility more than ever. Now there's just you and me. We've got to hang on tightly to each other. And to the estate? To that too, of course. Most of which will be mine. Why don't you say what you mean, Sadra? More coffee? Uh, yes. You flew down here just to see me. There's something wrong with that. Should I apologize? I rather hoped you'd be glad. Mother! You wouldn't walk two blocks to see me. Maybe you mean that you wouldn't walk two blocks to see me. <laughs> now we're both speaking the truth. You were a brat the day you were born. It was in your eyes. Heredity. Your genes, I guess. Don't kid yourself. The only thing you've inherited is money. Dad's contribution. Except it's not yours yet. For a while, at least, I still control the purse strings. Why did you fly down, Mother? Incidentally, I brought your allowance check. I saw no purpose whatever in mailing it. You have enough clothes, dear, because that's the last I intend to write. From now on, you can do that. I hate you. What a pity when I love you so much. Someday, Mother. Someday. Are you leaving, dear? Do you want me to stay? <laughs> what a fool Mother was to think she could punish me. If I didn't get money from her, I'd still get it somewhere. Who is it? It's me, Ellie. Come on in. around all day. 
What's her problem? I don't know. Maybe she's in love with Mort. <laughs> How's your love life, Belly? Well, yesterday in the cafeteria, Belly, you know this really... Did you do your exercises this morning? I was going to, but... Oh, Ellie, you're impossible. Impossible! I thought you wanted to do something with yourself. Look at you. Well? Well, don't you? You know, if you don't help yourself, I just have to do it for you, that's all. Here. You can wash these. Besides, it's good for your figure, huh? I've got an exam tomorrow. You're not refusing, are you? No, but... You want to go active? One vote for me, and... Uh... I'll wash him. That's better. Hi, Ellie. Hello, Terry. Hey, expensive looking stockings. Oh, no, they're not mine, they're Sabra's. The Sabra's? Yes. And you're washing them? Well, yes, but oh, you know the regulations, Ellie. Pledges aren't supposed to do personal tasks for actives. Well, I offered to. It wasn't Sabra's fault. I wish I could believe you. But I know Sabra. She's done this before. Hand me these. Your stockings. You're uh, supposed to knock. I caught Ellie washing them. <laughs> so? You know very well you're not supposed to make the pledges wash your personal things. I didn't. You're a liar. That's not very nice. Terry, don't you have something better to do than to uh, make a federal case out of every little thing? Don't slam the door too hard. From now on, don't talk so much. not to tell anybody? Well, do you remember last night when I told you about how Tina was crying and moping around? So? She's in real trouble. She's pregnant. How do you know? I heard her say so. When? Well, last night in her sleep, she was crying and mumbling, and I heard her. 
you sure of this? Positive. Did she say anything else? No, I, I listened very hard. She didn't mention any names or anything. You know, if the other girls find out about this, it'll be a real scandal. Listen, let's get one thing straight. This is a secret, hmm? And it's going to remain a secret. Nobody else is going to find out. But at least not from you or me. Sure, only if she's going to have a baby. It seems I heard something once about sorority sisters and loyalty. You and I are going to help Tina by keeping this a secret. Understand? Yes, Sabra. You didn't even tell me about this. All right. Did you do your exercises this morning? My stomach still hurts from the last time. We'll have a little session at my room tonight, when the others are at the rally. Be there at eight. You hear me? Pledge. Yes, Sabra. Eight o'clock. I'd better be getting back. Don't want to be gone too long. How about tomorrow night? Huh, I know. The election rally and you're the first speaker. There'll still be time to catch a show or something. I've got to study some time, Mort. I haven't cracked a book all week. With all this election business and... Honest. After this week, no excuses, I promise. Promises, promises, promises. <laughs> you idiot. I'll see you after sight. Hiya, Mort. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. What about those signs you said you had by tonight? All right, all right, Professor Legree. I've been working as fast as I can. Hey, look, I've only got two arms and half a tooth. Yeah, well, if you don't have Rita's campaign signs by tonight, you'll only have half a head. You know, it might be an improvement. Never mind. Hey, Mort, what's with you and Rita? You are gonna get married, maybe? You know me. Love them and leave them. Sure, and then you wrote. Seriously, what's up? Now, how would I look married to a politician? Huh? Hi, Sabra. Hi, Sabra. Hey, you know, I'd like to take her out sometime. What for? I don't know. Come on, Jughead. You know, Reed and Mort have been going together for about a year now. They're so cute together. I wonder if they'll get married. Ellie had given me an idea. It'd be fun to take Mort away from Rita. If I really wanted to. I wish her lots of luck. Come on, we'll be late for class. Hey, now remember to all spread out so when we cheer for her, we won't sound like a clock. Who is it? It's me, Ellie. Come on in. Stomach hurts. Well, don't worry about it. How many do I have to do? Let's see, uh, 25. 25. 25. Come on. One. Stop now. It's only three. We've got 22 more to go. Can't. Oh, sure you can. Come on now. No resting. Uh, 
Ellie, I'll, uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. But don't stop. Rally was the big thing tonight. How come you're not there? Well, I'm going over just as soon as I pick up Rita. Is she ready yet? She left a little while ago. Oh. Was she mad? <laughs> I told her I'd be here a half hour ago. I got hung up at the bar. <laughs> Do you, uh, usually get hung up at bars? Or do you just like a game of cat and mouse? Or hide and seek? Little of each. I never miss an angle. Well, I guess I'll be getting over to the rally. Well, uh, you're already late. I mean, would it hurt if you're a little later? I guess not. Most of the damage has been done already. Why, what's up? Oh, I, um, just wanted to talk. I wanted to talk to you. Sure. Okay, what can I do for you? Uh, your hand feels so warm on my back. More than I... Don't go. No one could ignore me the way Moore did. I swore I'd get even with him from that moment on. I couldn't do any more. If it's going to do any good at all, you've got to keep it up. I can't. I'm not going to. If you give up so easily all the time and keep feeling sorry for yourself, you know where you'll end up? Nowhere. It's for your own good, Ellie. want to do anything with yourself. You wanted me to help you, but you're not trying hard enough. Okay? Discipline. My stomach. I do them and they don't hurt my stomach. I know, but they're harder for me. They used to be hard for me, too. Teach you not to be so soft with yourself. That's not that I... Maybe now 
are you? You won't say. horrible thing to do. Are you all right? You better go to your room now. You don't belong on this campus. I knew you'd hang yourself with something sooner or later, but I didn't think it would be with anything like that. Haven't done anything so terrible. The dean will take care of you. She'll have you out on your ear so fast you won't know what hit you. <laughs> All I did was spank her a little. That was some spanking. She's a... Uh... Pledge. She had to be disciplined. We'll let the dean decide that. Maybe she'll agree with you. Maybe she won't. I, I never meant to really hurt her. I suppose that's why you use this, huh? Rita, I didn't mean to do it. I don't believe you. Please. Don't go to the dean. I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll do anything. No. You've said that before. has been in prison, huh? Seems as though he killed quite a few people. He didn't kill anybody. Some buildings he owned collapsed. Buildings? You mean tenements, don't you? Whatever the reasons are, people died. Died. Because of your father's negligence, hmm? Look at you, preaching the right and wrong of everything. I suppose you never make a mistake, huh? Aren't you wearing your halo a little too tight? I'm doing... Oh, never mind, you wouldn't understand. I'll tell you what I do understand. I understand you're not going to the Dean tonight. Not the Dean or anybody else. Do you understand? All right, Rita. Because if you go to the Dean, I'll spread this all over the place. And your election campaign will go right down the drain. The sorority, and maybe even you. I can't lose everything because of you. And I can't lose everything because of you either. I hope we understand each other now. Oh, all right. Yes. But 
it smells. I want those. Uh, 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 uh. I'll hang on to them. For a while. Something kept driving me to go on hurting others. I knew I was sick. I needed someone to help me, even if it was mother. Uh huh. Thanks a lot, Doc. I'll see you back. Sabra, what on earth are you doing home? I am. Um... Drove up from school. Yes, I could guess that, but why? Spur the moment. Have you been expelled? No. So what are you doing here? I had to. I, I, I wanted... Well, for heaven's sake, say it. Don't just sit there sputtering. You sound like your father. Mother. I need you. You drove a hundred miles to tell me that. Uh. I need you. All right, you need me. Such a child. Those things at, at the restaurant. I'm, I, I, I didn't mean the things I... Oh? I don't know what got into me. I wanted to hurt you. Obviously. Why, why do I do things like that? There must be something wrong with me. Nonsense. I want to hurt everybody. What's wrong? With me. Nothing is wrong with you. There shouldn't be. After all, you've always had the best money could buy. And it's time you started demonstrating that fact. It's just a question of making up your mind. <laughs> now, don't do that. It's just your, your love. I, I, it's all I want. You have my love. Now stop acting like an infant. If you don't help, I, I don't know. Now what kind of help is it you're after? Is it money? You want your allowance back? Is that what you want? No. I am not ready to restore it. Please listen to me! Now really, Sabra, you are much too old for this kind of scene making. In plain everyday language, Sabra, what is it you're after? What is it you want? It, uh, that doesn't matter. If you start now, you can get back before dark. Unless you want to stay for dinner. No, I, uh... I have some work to do. I, I'll go back. Well, I've got to run. I promised Ann Tyson I'd have cocktails with her. How foolish I've been to think that Mother could understand. She never cared enough to understand. Tina? Hi. Hi. Can I give you a lift? Oh, that'd be swell. Good. Look like you need one. What are you stopping here for? I wanted to talk to you. What about? 
I know you're upset about something. I wish you'd tell me what's wrong. I don't know what you mean. There's nothing wrong. Well, let, let me put it another, another way. I know you're desperate about something. What makes you think I am? Tina, I know. You know what? You're going to have a baby, aren't you? You're crazy! Oh, Tina! Tina! Tina, stop! I know you are. It's not true. You know it's true. Maybe I can help you. Maybe we can help each other. How did you find out about this? It doesn't matter. Don't worry. No one knows. Where is he? He left town. I don't know where he is. I... I just don't know what to do. Well, whatever you're going to do, you... You need money. I mean, just going off private somewhere to, to have a baby. Well, you need money. Am I right? Yes, I, I know. All right. You need money. I'm in a bit of a jam myself. I need money, too. You? Yes. Tina. What about Mort? What about him? If you can say... Well, if you can say he's the one. I know it's crazy, but... Mort, Mort has a name and reputation he can't afford to lose. What's more, I hear he has plenty in the bank. I couldn't do a thing like that to Mort. If you can just write him a letter. That's blackmail. I, I won't do it. It's not right. I know it's not right. But meanwhile, that'll help pay enough for both of us. We, we can straighten it out later. I can't think of anything else. If you... If you can think of a better answer, I'll be glad to listen. This whole thing's ridiculous. I'm going to report you to the dean. Okay. If that's the way you want it. I don't want to hurt you. But if I have to, I will. Either a letter goes to Mort. Or I'll be happy to go to the dean with you. And everyone will know. You wouldn't. <laughs> Just think about it. Time's getting shorter for both of us. is cold and the crew is cool and I'm testing one two three four and on the customer side one two three four right away. 
Listen. Just remember, choose your words carefully. That's all. Casey has a witness listening in. What are you standing there for? crazy idea of a gag? No, I met every word of it. When did you find out you were pregnant? A few days ago. That's when I found out for sure. You went to a doctor? Of course I did. Well, what do you intend to do? Go away somewhere until your time is up? I don't know yet. But you do know you need money? Yes. Why me, Tina? I mean, haven't I always treated you right? Of course you have. I pay you enough? Yes. I don't work it too hard. No. And you know I'm not the father. You are the father. Come on, Tina. I've never touched you. You're the one that made me pregnant. Look, Tina, let's not play games, huh? If you're level with me, I'll try and help you. Oh, I get it. You think maybe I got somebody stashed here? A witness, huh? Is that it? Well, go ahead, look around. Take a look in the back, too. Well, satisfied? Yes. All right, then. I'm not the father, am I? No, but I'll say you are. And they'll believe me. Who's they? The dean and the trustees. Oh, so that's it. They'll close this place up so fast. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they would at that. Look, I want the money by tomorrow night. Otherwise, I go to the dean. That's blackmail, Tina. You just admitted I'm not the father. I know you're not. But you've got a thousand to spare. And I want it by tomorrow night. Clear? Yes, Tina, that's clear. Wonderfully clear. In fact, everything you said in the last five minutes is clear. And it's all here on this tape. And it goes in a safe right now. So you don't need the money now. What you need is a good safe cracker. No, I'm not going to say anything about this. But you see to it, you stay out of my way, understand? Now get out of here and get out fast, because you stink. You and your whole lousy scheme. Ellie, dear, could I speak with you a moment? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Come, dear. Sit down. What's bothering Tina? I don't know. I've tried talking with her, but she won't open up. I'm worried about her. She's been brooding like this for days. That's not good. If you know what the trouble is, Ellie, and you're keeping quiet about it, you're doing Tina a disservice. I don't know. That child has a problem. Keeping it locked up inside her isn't helping. All right, Ellie. You can join the others now. Thank you, Mrs. Desmond.
she want? She wanted to know about Tina. Know what about Tina? What was bothering her? What'd you tell her? She said I didn't have any idea. You know, I do those pretty well now. Won't be long. I'm getting thinner. You're doing fine. I'm trying. Anyway, I'm getting tougher. Sabra. What? Do you think we're doing Tina a disservice by keeping quiet about her? Nobody asked you to think. Never mind. Just keep on with the good work. I am. Let it go to your head. in the dumps. What? D don't you think maybe it would be better if you told somebody what was bothering you? Can't be as bad as all that. Maybe Mrs. Fessenden could help. Or your parents. That's what they're there for. Ellie, will you please leave me alone? Okay. Okay, I was just trying to help. to give some kind of explanation soon. It's hopeless. My whole life's messed up. That makes both of us. Time sure is running out.
Everything's going to be all right. Just take it easy. <laughs> it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. She made me do it. What does she mean, Lord? She's pregnant. I called her mom and dad this morning. They're coming up to take care of her. She was trying to blackmail me. Somebody else must have put her up to it, though. Sabra. It was her idea. It was Sabra. <laughs> out there. You don't have any rules, just self-preservation. I suppose everything you, you do is right. You blackmailed Tina, almost killed her. I, I didn't see any of you trying to help her. You even tried to blackmail me. Don't think, I don't know what you were trying to do. I know you were trying to get rid of me. And you beat Ellie. <laughs> you could twist everything. <laughs> to find out what my story was. Doesn't matter anymore. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. Leave her. If everything could only begin for me, once more. But it's too late for me. I've lived my life. Always afraid. Every moment of it. 